rock dog and he plays the drums in his rock and roll band. He tours the world in his vocal bus to beat the screaming fans. Day or I just can't play. Boo, are you there? No, oh, man. Shh. Hello there. I'm hiding. Shh. Can't go back on stage till I've had my story. <laughs> Boo, are you there? <laughs> Boo. I'm gonna find you, man. You know it, and I know it. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Boo? You there? <laughs> He's gonna find me. <laughs> man, where can that puppy be? <laughs> Boo! Where is that pup? Hmm. <laughs> Bizarre. There you are. Drag me back out there on stage if you like. Are you crazy? <laughs> I found someone really cool to share a story with you. Really? Uh-huh. You did? Uh-huh. Hmm. Hmm? That'll be her now. Hello? Are you in that book of boo? Oh, it's amazing actress Miss Amelia Fox. I just wanted to know why you're not on stage because we're really missing you out there. You know why, don't you? You see, Miss Amelia Hedgehog, I am, um, well, f I need a story a day or I just can't play. Oh, well, that explains why Paws and Growler gave me this. She's got the book of bag. She's got the book of bag. Come on in. Amazing actress. Miss Amelia Ferret. Fox. It's the book of bag. 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 It's the book of bag. Hey, Bookaboo! It's Miss Amelia Fox. Wow, this is the greatest tour bus ever. Oh, it's so great to meet you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, amazing actress, Miss Amelia Fox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you've got a book bag there. Should we see what's inside? I can smell it. Oh, there's a book! Mm. Ooh. What's it called? The Spider and the Fly. Illustrated by Tony DiTalizzi. Mm. I know this one, Bookaboo. Really? It's based on the cautionary tale by Mary Howard, and my granny used to read it to my mum, and my mum used to read it to me. Oh, so it's an old one then, and a cautionary tale, so watch yourselves. <laughs> Should we get started? Yeah, please, come on. Mm. Mm. The Spider and the Fly. Will you walk into my parlour, said the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlour that ever you did spy. The way into my parlour is up a winding stair, and I have many curious things to show you when you are there. Um, uh, just a minute, Amelia. I, I don't mean to spoil the story or nothing, but, um... Don't spiders eat flies? Flies are spiders' favourite meal, Bookaboo. Well, well, if I was a fly, I wouldn't spend much time flying around a spider. I don't think so. Let's see what she says. <laughs> oh, no, no, said the little fly. To ask me is in vain, for who goes up your winding stair can ne'er 
come down again. It's okay, she's a sensible fly. She knows she's got his number. She's mm -hmm. a smart fly, isn't she? I'm sure you must be weary, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed? said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains drawn around. The sheets are fine and thin. And if you like to rest a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. Oh, don't fall for it, fly! Oh, no, no, said the little fly, for I've often heard it said, they never, never wake again who sleep upon your bed. She's fumbled him, she fumbled him. Said the cunning spider to the fly, Dear friend, what can I do to prove the warm affection I've always felt for you? He's a charmer. I have within my pantry good store of all that's nice. I'm sure you're very welcome. Will you please to take a slice? Oh, she's not going to fall for it. Don't fall for it, little fly. Oh, no, no, said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard what's in your pantry, and I do not wish to see. Quite right, quite right. What did the spider say? Sweet creature, said the spider. You're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gauzy wings. How brilliant are your eyes. Sneaky, sneaky, funny. Sneaky, sneaky spider. He's trying everything, isn't he, Bookaboo? Yeah, including flattery. He's trying to flatter her. She won't fall for it, won't she? I hope she doesn't. <laughs> I have a little looking glass upon my parlour shelf. If you'd step in one moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. Turn the page, turn the page, please. <laughs> I thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you're pleased to say. And bidding you good morning now, I'll call another day. Phew! <sighs> she hasn't fallen for it. <laughs> The spider turned him round about and went into his den. For well he knew the silly fly would soon come back again. Oh no, she won't! So he wove a subtle web in a little corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. Oh, he's setting a trap, isn't he? Yes. Then he came out to his door again and merrily did sing. Come hither, hither, pretty fly with a pearl and silver wing. Your robes are green and purple. There's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond bright, but mine are dull as lead. I'm not listening. Alas, alas, how very soon this silly little fly, hearing his wily, flattering words, came slowly flitting by. With buzzing wings she hung aloft, then near and nearer drew. Thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue, thinking only of her crested head, poor foolish thing. Foolish thing! At last... Up jumbled the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. <laughs> Give me a bit of a shot there, isn't it? <laughs> Come here. What? Sorry, bookaboo. <laughs> he dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den within his little parlour. But she ne'er came out again. Poor little fly. And now, dear little children, who made this story read... To idle, silly, flattering words, I pray you ne'er give heed. That means don't listen. Don't listen to stuff like that. Otherwise, you might end up all span about, wrapped up and bandaged up like an Egyptian mummy and stuck in a spider's web. That's right, Bookaboo. Unto an evil counsellor, close heart and ear and eye, and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. For you. Joy. <laughs> Can I ask you a question, Amelia? Yeah. When you were first read that story, mm -hmm. were you just a little bit scared? I was really scared, Bookaboo. Oh. But then my mum <laughs> would give me a big hug mm. 
and a oh. kiss, and I felt so much better. Well, everything is all right now. Mm. Thank you for reading me that story, Amelia. I really appreciate it. Whoa, I've got my bojo back. I'm going to get back out there now. Get back on that stage, Rickaboo. Are you going to come out? Yeah, come we'll on. see you there.